Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So in today's video, we'll be discussing about how to implement a delay for uh, a chat agent's response, actually between two response. And uh, I will also culture some of the different response types uh, within Watson Assistant and how to manage them and how to um, get the privilege out of those options. So first I will start with how to implement the delay. So I will get started with one of the uh, uh, existing uh, chat we I have where I already have a dialogue skill added. So I will get started with that. So I have a conversation going on there. It's related to uh, a plastic surgery. Basically it's related to a medical assistant uh, kind of a chatbot. So as you can see, it, it has a welcome uh, intent in it. And then I have my own intent, which uh, actually it's a node, sorry for calling it intent, a own node, and where I am catching the user input, and then I have a response node after that. So I have two response variant available here i can add more by clicking on the add response and there is a response type called pause which has the option to typing indicator like the dot dot thing you can on it you can off it and i can put the time delay you want to implement so it can be i have used 3000 millisecond which equivalent to three second so after i added the response time i will place it i am placing it at the very top so after you type after user type the answer when the chatbot started responding it will take a delay for three seconds before the answer reaches to the to the customer so that's the plan i'm also adding uh, one more uh, response variant uh, actually i will show you uh, this thing after i implement the delay uh, this response uh, variation variation will be actually used to explain you the sequential random and, uh, and multi-line uh, response variance type so let's try out on the right hand side so uh, the welcome message then I'm putting a, a response as a customer so you see that pause three hundred milli three thousand millisecond and then the response will come so in the tryout you will not actually see the delay for that i will go to the go to the mm, demo uh, page section where uh, the basically the web chat integration section where you get the embedded core for for the website so here i'm also typing the same input called plastic surgery and you see the dot dot thing is coming so that's that delay thing and then the response came in okay so that's how you actually implement delay between uh, customer input and chat agents output now let me quickly show you on the dialogue uh, flow that uh, how to use that uh, sequential and the random uh, response variants parameters and how to get uh, how to use them basically so I have now clicked on the random which means that you have three different response variant here so let's say you're chatting with the chatbot uh, and the same person came back after um, five minutes doing the chat so you would not like to always respond the same response to the customer so that's why you use that uh, that variant thing so this time it answered with sorry i don't uh, i don't know this answer i will search my database uh, so if i do it if i reload the link and and do it another time you will see so it's uh, it's actually throwing up a different answer so that's the uh, that's how you use the random uh, random uh, variable option the sequential uh, has uh, so many things in it uh, i will go to that so this time you see it it respond with a different uh, different response variants so this is how you use the the random thing 
now for the sequential and the multi-line it just allow you to add more lines into it and the sequential it actually helps you when you have multiple uh, condition applied multiple intent or entities applied you can sequence your response variants using that option so if that condition fills up this response will go if the another condition fills up this response will go so this is my quick video for today i hope uh, you really liked it and you understood how to apply the delay and how to use the sequential and random things a uh, random variation type so that's all for now we'll catch you soon on my next video bye have a good day ahead